dragging and dropping files into Outlook causes Outlook to freeze or crash completely. If this is happening, it's probably because of a plugin. If it's happening to more than one user, it's almost certainly a plugin. And what you can do is disable it or uninstall it, and then everything should work just fine. Um, the other thing you should check for is to make sure that DDE communication is being accepted by Outlook. Um, DDE is a dynamic data exchange. It's an application that allows a different Windows apps, even if they have different formats. For example, you know, Excel is completely different than, let's say, Word. Um, DDE allows those two to communicate with each other, and it allow, allows you to uh, share those types of files um, between users and use Outlook to actually uh, transport them, and you can even open them, and so on. Uh, so you want to make sure that DDE is being used and uh, the way to do that, I'll show you right now, is you can go into Excel. Now remember this is the Windows 10 version of Excel and if you have the Windows 7 version the buttons might look a little bit different but it's all the same thing. You just go down to Options, you go to Advanced, and then you have to scroll all the way down until you get to something called general, which is all the way down here. You can see your general um, header right here. And you can see where it says ignore other apps that use DDE. Obviously, you do not want to ignore other apps that use DDE. You want everything to communicate within the Windows environment. So clear this box. If there's a check there, take the check out, hit OK and everything should work fine after that. And of course, um, you want to restart Outlook after you've done all this. Um, if the user didn't save anything before this happened, you can go to unsaved files in Word or Excel and they will, they will be there even if the uh, application crashed. If you've ever had Word crash, for example, or freeze up and you had to uh, log off and shut down your PC and then turn it on and log back in again. Uh, usually in the left hand column here, you will have something that says, you know, um, do you want to go back to the uh, previous version? This would be the version before it crashed or where you, you know, left off. And of course, you just, you know, click on it, say yes, and uh, the user can start right up where they finished, where they uh, ended before the thing crashed. So that's a pretty easy way to fix that issue. Um, Outlook search is not working. Um, you can go into services, Windows, Windows search, just uh, enable it and disable it. It should work again. You can also go into your control panel, uh, index options advanced. You can uh, choose delete and you can choose to rebuild the index and that will work too. So that's super easy. Same thing with calendar inbox contacts. For this, you can go into properties, security groups, and if you have the permissions, you can give the user full edit rights, whatever, you know, whatever it is they're authorized to have. And of course, you have to get approval from the supervisor or manager, because obviously anything that requires permissions, especially if you're going to give user access to another person's menu. Um, it might be a, a calendar, for example, that the users are sharing as a part of a shared calendar, but you still have to give them permission uh, to access it. And certainly you have to give them permission to edit that calendar, even if everyone agreed that they can share it. And of course, when you get approval from your admin or supervisor, remember you have to get approval in writing. So it has to be in an email or a text or something that you can document so that if people ask later on, why does this user have access? You can show them the approval you got from your supervisor. Okay, so remember document everything, especially things involving security and permissions.